What's going on, nation? And welcome to Bench Break Episode 9, How to Maximize Your Barbell Bicep Curls, Inside Grip versus Outside Grip. Now before we get into this video, I want you guys to know that genetics will play a role in the shape of your biceps. For example, some people have shorter biceps, which seems to be like they have a higher peak as well, which is the kind of bicep that I have, where others have those long biceps that seem to take up the entire arm, which I can kind of mimic if I turn my wrist out like this. But no matter what shape your bicep is, you can always increase the size of the muscle mass by training properly. So what we're going to do today in this video is I'm going to show you guys my top two favorite exercises to work both heads of the biceps. And all it's going to do is really focus on having to change your grip on the bar in order to target both heads. So what are both heads? Well you have the inner head which is also known as the short head of the bicep which is pretty much right here. And then you have the outer head or the long head of the bicep which is, you can kind of see the separation, it's right here. You can see it more from the side as well. Before we get into the exercises though, I want to talk to you guys about some reasons as to why your biceps might not be growing. The number one reason is going to be proper form. And form involves a few different things. It involves utilizing the full range of motion of all the exercises, and it also involves making sure that you're not swinging into your reps. Some people, especially they start to get heavy, or even beginners when they're trying to curl too much weight, they get into the habit of doing this, and they're basically swinging the barbell up and down, not really isolating the bicep and working it as hard as it needs to be worked. Now your genetics can also play a role in how your body responds to your workout, whether you're working your biceps or any other body part. And what I mean by that is, some people get better results by lifting with heavier weight and shorter rep ranges, where other people get better results building muscle and strength by doing bigger rep ranges. So maybe the short rep range would be like the five to six area, where others like to stay in the eight to 10 or 10 to 12 rep range and do a lot of drop sets and burn sets and supersets, basically infusing a lot of volume into the workout. If you've been training for a while, you probably know what, uh, which way your body responds better, whether it's training heavy or with a lot of volume. If you're a beginner and you don't know yet, Pick one of these ways to train and do it for two to three months and then switch to the other way and you'll quickly be able to see which one your body responds better to. Now as far as the exercises, the first thing we're going to do is talk about my top two favorite exercises to work the inside head or the short head of the bicep. The first exercise is going to be a wide grip barbell bicep curl. And for this exercise, what you're going to do is grab your barbell outside of shoulder width, get a nice tight grip on the bar, keep your chest up, hold your elbows in front of your hips, and then bring the barbell all the way up, and then all the way back down. Just like this. And that's the full range of motion. You want to really feel your elbows fully extend at the bottom. If you're not used to doing that, or if you have a hard time remembering, a lot of people will curl and then they'll kind of do one of these and bring their arms back and not fully extend them. Try to like flex your tricep to push your elbows forward to make sure you get a full extension at the bottom of the movement. Bring the bar all the way up and all the way down. Another trick you can do if you're trying to lift heavier weight is you can focus on utilizing that internal belt. So basically take in a breath, keep your core nice and tight, perform the entire movement, and then don't reset your breath until you reach the bottom of the movement again. The second exercise I like to do to focus on the inner head of the bicep, once again you have to use a wider grip on the bar, is going to be a wide grip preacher curl. And as you guys can see, I've made my very own custom preacher curl machine over here. It's just not painted yet. <laughs> But for the preacher curl, what you're going to do is use the easy curl bar, use the outside grips of the bar, and once again focus on a full extension, and then bringing the bar all the way up to your chin. Just be careful you don't hit yourself in the teeth of the forehead. Control the bar on the way down and on the way up. And make sure you do full range of motion on every single rep. If you catch yourself doing one of these, this isn't full range of motion, and that's probably why you're not growing your biceps. So full range of motion on the preacher curls. 
And now my two favorite exercises to work the outside head or the long head of the bicep. The first one is an inside grip easy curl. So using the easy curl bar just like this, getting a nice tight inside grip. Now for some of you, you might have a hard time holding your arms in front of your body like this. You want to make sure you're not pushing your shoulders forward when you do this. Keep them nice and neutral, but try to get your arms in front of your body so you can fully extend them. And then same thing, bring the bar all the way up and then make sure you go all the way down and you fully extend your arms. All the way up, all the way down, just like this. All the way up, all the way down. And now on to the last exercise, which is my other favorite exercise to do when trying to target the outside head of the bicep, is a drag curl. Now for the drag curl, you're going to grab a close grip on the bar, but more of a narrow grip, just about shoulder width or a little bit inside of shoulder width on the barbell. And then from here, what you're going to do is once again, make sure you have a full extension in your arms, elbows in front of your hips. And as you curl the bar, you're going to drag it up your entire body as high as you can. So curl, drag it up as high as you can, and then bring it back down, continuing to drag the barbell down your body. So that's one rep. We'll do another one. Curl it all the way up and then bring it down, drag it across your body, and we'll do one more. So on this exercise, you are letting your elbows go backwards past your hips. Bring it up, and then bring it back down, and that's how you do a drag curl. So you guys have it, my top two exercises to work the inside head and the outside head of the bicep just by switching your grip on the barbell. If you guys want to learn more great exercises in order to really boost your bicep routine, you can join us over here in the forum post about the bicep curls in this video. And for more great tips, exercises, routines, and recipes, be sure to join us on scottherrmanfitness.com. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys. If you're looking for a quick way to switch things up, log into your SHF profile and go to the workout section of the website. Once there, click on the muscles you want to train, then you'll be brought to a page where you can further filter down your search. Now you have a complete list of all the routines that target your chest and utilize only a barbell or dumbbell. From here you can rate the routine, add it to your routines in your profile, and if you scroll down, you can see a write-up of the entire routine as well as photos of all the exercises. You can also download a printable PDF just by clicking on it.